Okay, I don't know if you can hear me over the traffic and the wind, but this is why I had to take the long way around to get to Walmart. Look at the fluffy little chocobos, they're so cute. here at Walmart this morning. I came to pick up some pants from work and then I also got a new shirt and some other things and I'm looking at swimsuits just in case and I just want to get a new swimsuit anyway. So I found the bottoms I want to get just pretty black boy shorts and I found a couple tops. The one top I really like is like $24 so I don't want to get that right away but I found this top for 11 and I'll show it to you guys a little bit better when I get home because I'm not absolutely sure if I'm gonna go with that top I'm gonna try it on first hey guys as you can see I am home we just got back from going out today with my dad Lonja's it was awesome so thought I'd give you a quick update on how my shopping trip went today um, some hits and some misses I ended up going to the mall they didn't have my Vanity Fair magazine which is the summer issue is going to have a lot um rise of skywalker spread looks really amazing so i can't wait to get it they don't have it in yet so but that's it. which is kind of bumming because i did have a 20 percent off barnes noble coupon for memorial day weekend don't think i'm going to use it simply because there's nothing i really want now um also stopped by players got three ear cuffs which i got to experiment with because they're actually a little bit looser so i don't know what's going on um as for Walmart, definitely two hits and two misses in terms of the clothes I picked up. First off, um, the first miss is um, they revamped our dress code at work. So now we are able to wear black or blue dress pants or black or blue jeans. So we can wear jeans now, officially. <laughs> I've actually been wearing black jeans since I started back there. Um, so I decided, so I have like three pairs of jeans, one pair is capris, and I love them because they're ripped, got flowered patches, cute, can't wear them to work. Um, I have another pair that work, they're long enough, but they're a little bit too big, and I don't think they're dark enough. Um, my other pair, which would be perfect for work, are actually above my ankles, so I don't feel comfortable wearing those to a work environment. I actually wore them to my interview at the airport, and I felt comfortable the entire time. But I also wore a Captain Marvel shirt to that. Um, so I decided to get some jeans. I went to, there's a brand called Time and True, which is supposed to be, you know, like plus size, every size. I got their size 20 jeans, which is what I wear. I wear a size 20 in jeans. Apparently in Time and True, I don't wear a size 20 because I just tried on um, size 20 jeans from Time and True and they were too small. So I'm trying to figure out just what size 20 is meant for because I wear a size 20 everywhere else except in their blue jeans and this will make even more confusion later when I explain to you guys my swimsuit situation. Um, that was a miss. However, I got a hit because I talk about like bounding a lot and for Memorial Day I think I'm going to do a Captain Marvel bounding outfit which will be very obviously Captain Marvel because I'm going to be wearing one of my t-shirts that screams Captain Marvel one actually just says Captain Marvel um, because I might be going to a baseball game Monday if the weather holds I might be going to the loons game um, I'm planning to do something for Captain America for July with Captain America it's going to be slightly more subtle because I can't find the Captain America shirt I like so I was just, so I have a dress I got for Easter. It's a very blue, pretty blue dress, and I like it because it kind of has like a 40s kind of vibe to it. I'm like, that's perfect for a Captain America bounding outfit. And then I realized I'm going to be wearing it in July in Michigan, and I plan on the weather being nice and have the day off going for a bike ride. Probably not the smartest thing to wear a dress going bike riding. So my other substitution is get a t-shirt and... Not something that screams Captain America, but Captain America inspired, so like bounding, like colors and designs. Captain America, born on the 4th of July, America's in the name, so I thought get some patriotic wear because I need a new patriotic t-shirt or two anyway. So they had this really cute shirt. I don't know how well you guys are going to see it. It says let freedom ring. It's on a dark blue shirt, which is great because it reminds me of the costume for Endgame for Infinity War and Endgame's that darker costume but then it has the red white and blue so kind of his original costume so not overtly screaming Captain America and then I'll wear shorts with it and then I have for 
Memorial Day for Captain Marvel, I'm gonna throw in a little Minnie Mouse because they had Minnie Mouse ears at Walmart. Oh my gosh, you guys, these were less than $5. I know they're not from Disney Parks or anything like that, but oh my gosh, Minnie Mouse ears. I got so excited I grabbed these. So these are what I'm going to wear for Memorial Day. You know, kind of catchy and cute, plus I'm going to a baseball game and there's less chance of me losing them. Um, and then for 4th of July, I got a very cute, again, going back to that old vibe, I got a cute red, white, and blue bone. This is going to go on my hair for 4th of July, so. And then to complete my Captain America bounty outfit, I'm going to look into getting a Captain America purse, which I'm hoping I can get in the shape of a shield. And it's funny because when I told my brother that, he went, he doesn't work for shield anymore. My brother thought I meant shield the organization and not his um, actual, his frisbee shield. <laughs> that was funny. Um, So that was a hit. Another hit is, I do not yet know if I'm going to Michigan's Adventure yet this year, but I like to plan ahead. I just feel like I need to get a new swimsuit because I've lost some weight. And last year my swimsuit was kind of too big. A couple of... And like two years ago, my swimsuit was kind of a mess. So I decided to get a new swimsuit this year. So um, I'm kind of mad that Walmart has started doing this a few years ago. And I think other businesses are too, that they sell that two pieces. They sell them the bottom and the top separate, even if they match do the whole mix and match thing. But it is so expensive now. Um, so I went and found some bottoms. I prefer some skirts. They don't have any at Walmart that is affordable, but I found a pair of swim shorts. So boy swim shorts in black, which is nice because looks good. Here's the thing. These are a size 20. They're by the company Time and True. This is where I'm getting confused. If I can wear a size 20 and they're swim shorts, and here's the thing. These are actually kind of loose. If these are a size 20, they fit me and are kind of loose, then why are the blue jeans too small for me in the same size? Maybe it's a fabric thing. I don't know, but it's really confusing and it's really bugging me. Um, and then I looked at their swim tops that they had on sale and I found one for $11. So this is the top I picked for $11. I didn't think I was going to keep it. I'm not a big fan of halter tops. My last top was a halter top. My mom actually knotted that thing. So I wasn't like, un it was on unknotting. It's not my favorite. I like the height of the neckline. It's not my favorite design. There's like all these like, the openings and stuff like that but I'm like it's 11 bucks I'll get it try it on more snake tab and it doesn't fit me I didn't like how it looked on me I showed it to my mom she didn't like it either so tomorrow I'm gonna go probably for a very long bike ride and then probably stop off back at home and see if my brother wants to come with me because I'm going to run back to Walmart to return the swim top and the pants which means I have to get a new pair of pants and a new swim top and I only found one I liked but it's $24. But I like it. They have it in my size, and I think it's a little bit more appropriate. So I'm going to try it. And if worst comes to worst, I have to get one with underwire in it, which I'm not looking forward to at all. Because um, I've never done it, and I don't like it. So that is where I'm at in terms of... I always say I'm so happy that I've lost how much weight I am. It still boggles me when people say I look good, because I still look at myself and go, well... Um, but, it always, but I'm so happy I've lost all this weight. It's making shopping a lot more fun. I mean, I am wearing, this is like a 1X or a 2X. I'm so happy and so proud of myself. And then it comes to stuff like this. And I just get so frustrated because I'm losing weight. But there are still parts of me that I look at myself and I go, I am the ugliest person on the planet. And it just drives me bonkers. So, I don't know. I got to figure this out. And like I said, I don't even know if I'm going to Michigan's Adventure. But I feel like... Every two years or so, I should probably invest in getting a new swimsuit, you know, just in case. So, I'm going to get going. I'm going to get some no-bakes. Totally ruined my diet for the day after picking out at Long John's. It was so good. I'm sorry. It was so good. It's so worth it. And if I have a long bike ride tomorrow, I'm just going to go for it and own it. So, I'm going to get going, you guys. Stay safe and stay safe. Why am I telling you goodbye tomorrow already? I have more stuff to do tomorrow for you guys. So, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Yay! It's recording! <laughs> Hi guys! Okay, it is Friday. First off, sorry about the video quality compared to the other clips from this week. I am actually using my laptop to film this. And I'm thinking this might be a new change I do where the weeks I don't really do anything that, or I do stuff that I can't film or I don't really do anything at all. This is what I'm going to do is I'm just going to talk to my laptop.
because I'm basically talking to my phone anyway. So, hey guys, it is Friday. It is a cloudy, dreary day, and I really wish the weather would make up its mind what it's going to do. Um, it is Memorial Day weekend, and I have Memorial Day off. <laughs> um, I don't remember if I had Memorial Day off last year. Um, this time last year, if you guys went back and watched my videos or the 2018 Mackinac Island playlist, you guys know I was on Mackinac Island at this time. And in Michigan, I have made this comment, Memorial Day. Well, Memorial Day is the unofficial official start of summer everywhere here in the United States. But for Michigan, Memorial Day is literally like the kickoff for everything. Pretty much all the spring, summer events start like right after Memorial Day. So Memorial Day starts. We're going to start having like concerts and balloon festivals and races and all these special events. Um, which really, and in Mackinac Island where I was last year was really the kickoff because they have Memorial Day. And after Memorial Day, they have the Lilac Festival and they have yacht races. And um, also Memorial Day weekend is usually when they have the policy conference, which sucks. <laughs> um, so, and I am wearing a Mackinac Island t-shirt. And I discovered, I think I know why I've been feeling so off and my allergies have been acting up. One, I haven't been taking my allergy medication. And two, there's actually a lilac bush out near where we live <laughs> it took me like forever to realize that weird bush thing that was a lilac bush so oh yay so and i know i know it's kind of stupid that my favorite flower one of my favorite flowers is lilacs and i'm allergic to them cut me some slack they're per they're my favorite so anyway today i just did some running around some weird areas which i will talk to you guys about um, but since we are talking about summer, I thought I would clue you guys in on some of my summer plans, which are basically just projects. So, um, the, I have up to my hours at work. Like I said, I'm now working two days a week. Um, that means, but that still means I have a lot of free time on my hands when I'm not writing or doing stuff like that. So I'm going to try to get back into sewing and guitar, but still quite a little bit of free time. And if you guys notice my room, well, you can't see a lot of my room. I kind of need to do some work on my room, so I have set out some projects to do for June and July. So next month, my project is to organize, to go through and organize my closet, to go through my closet and get rid of everything I don't want anymore, everything I don't need that's just cluttering up space, get rid of it. And I'm kicking myself because a lot of that is going to be like the floral picks and stuff I got from Joanne. Honestly, I just got them because I watched the gardeners and the Binghams and they like to go all out for decorating and I would love to do that. Unfortunately, I just have my bedroom and it's not really kind of set up to where I can go all out decorating. Um, so I'm going to get rid of that stuff. And honestly, I have found nicer floral, like little simple flower ranger. It's like I just need to have one. I don't need to have like five or six. So I'm just going to cut back on some of the um, over the top decor I have that I don't really need at this point. It's just taking up space and time and Honestly, I don't want to deal with it anymore. So I'm getting rid of a lot of that stuff I have some books. I'm gonna get rid of probably some clothes So that will be my June project is or getting is plowing through and actually finally for real cleaning out my closet um, But then I have a reward. I am very much here's a thing that you have to learn about me I am NOT a competitive person. I am NOT really ambitious that's just my personality and it confuses my co-workers because they they think um my managers have this idea that competition is what's going to get us to push us to be better and here's the thing i am like the le one of the least competitive people ever and i just think that's the result of who i am i mean i did 4-h and even 4-h i didn't really care like when i won it was an awesome feeling but I really just did 4-H for fun. So I am like not, <laughs> I did like drama. I would try out like I am, no, I am not competitive. I really honestly don't care if I come in first place or if I come in last place. If I come in first place, that's awesome. That's great because I smashed expectations. But if I come in last place, that's still going to be some sort of achievement for me. So I honestly don't care. So I am like the least competitive person. Ever. And I think it flabbergasts them at work because they are trying to get us to do like these reward signups and they're like, oh, so and so got like four reward signups. Can you can at least do that? And it's like you do realize you are talking to one of the least the most um most uncompetitive people on the planet. I don't care about competition. 
Um, what I am is I am reward driven. Like when I wake up in the morning, I give myself a set of goals. And if I hit all those goals or most of those goals, then I get to reward myself by doing something I really want. Um, like I love writing. It's fun. But since I'm doing a fan fiction story, story, that means I have to devote time to it. And it's something I have to do. So I say, I'm going to do my devotions. I'm going to do yoga or some form of workout. I'm going to do at least three Spanish lessons on my Duolingo app. I'm going to do at least an hour or two of writing. And when I get all, I'm going to clean. And when I get all that done, I can play like Star Wars, The Old Republic or watch a movie. So I am very much kind of a reward driven person. Again, that's part of my personality. That's something that came from when I was a kid. We would get rewards for doing good, for being like good and doing chores and stuff. So I'm very based on rewards. So I set myself for um, June and August these goals. And like I said, June is or is go through and clean out my closet. My reward for that is if I do that and get it done and I get it done before the Lala Festival is maybe going up to Mackinac Island for the day. Now, I love Mackinac Island and I'm not working out there this summer. There's a whole reason I don't want to. I, I thought about going back up there, but it's just not worked out. Um, so there's a whole reason there. So, but I do love Mackinac Island and I would love to go out for the day. So that would be a reward for me is if I get this done, go up to Mackinac Island. Um, next month, Jul not next month, July is, um, organize my closet, get my room a little bit straightened out. I have some, I want to get some more bins. I want to get things a little bit better organized. Um, I, that's kind of a major project for me because I have so much stuff. Like I said, cleaning out my closet is going to be a pain. Um, but once I hit that, if I hit that goal at the beginning of July and get that done, then my reward for myself will be maybe if I can find some people to go with me is to go to Michigan's Adventure, which if for you guys who are new to the channel or just tuning in, Michigan's Adventure is basically the only theme park here in the state of Michigan. It's located in Muskegon and it is a combination. It is Michigan's Adventure and Wild Water Adventure. So it's a combination theme park and water park and Michigan's Adventure had started out as actually a deer park a little petting zoo with a couple rides um that my mom used to go to as a kid and it became Michigan's Adventure in 1988 and then in 1991 they added the water park so it's not very big it's not like there's a ton of thrill rides but we do have one of the best wooden roller coasters in the United States Shivering Timbers which I'm just terrified to go on I am not a coaster girl but I love going to Michigan's Adventure it's so much fun and that being said, it's like the closest I have to Disney right now. So that would be my reward for July and then August. Just like I don't have a project planned for August because those will be the two big ones. I'll have them done. So August can kind of be my chill month because we have to start back to school. So kind of relaxing. August, I'm going to go to Star Wars night, hopefully. Um, and of course, in, all, in between all that, I am also doing the Marvel 5K. I officially signed up to do the Marvel 80th Challenge, which is doing the Captain Marvel 5K in June the Black Panther 5K in July, and the Iron Man 5K in August. So um, if you know anything about Midland and Michigan, you know those are going to probably be some really humid and warm months. So that means I am going to probably be getting up at like 7 o'clock in the morning, not having breakfast, and going out and trying to get this in. And of course, I'm still dealing with the after effects, my knee, which has been doing fine. I'm still having issues walking for more than two miles. So I got to work on that. So other than that, that is pretty much my summer. I'm just going to try to focus. Um, I'm going to try to do as much as I can. I'm still debating. There is a baseball game that I want to go to Monday at the Great Lakes Loons. And I would. Um, they're doing one Sunday. So I would love to go to a baseball game this weekend. However, the issue is it's Sunday. It's Kids Day. I kind of don't want to do Kids Day on Memorial Day weekend. Also, Monday, it looks like it's going to rain. So I, and I would be biking because nobody would go with me. So I got so I'm like watching the weather to the very last minute to see whether or not I can go to the game Monday. Um, and then hopefully within like during the month of June, I'm also going to go, I'm hopefully going to be able to go to Dow Gardens. They are doing a really cool event right now at the gardens called Origami in the Gardens, where they have these massive sculpt origami sculpture sculptures mean origami fashion so they look like origami paper um or just like origami what am I saying um and they're just like these massive almost life-size sculptures and so I would love to go see that also they have the bridge completed the pedestrian bridge connecting going over St. Andrews connecting the garden to Whiting Forest and that would be something fun to go do too so I haven't been to the um canopy walk and I really enjoyed it I just want to enjoy it when I'm not waiting when I'm not waiting in a 45 minute line to do anything <laughs> so um 
That's some lands. Okay, now on to some stuff today. I had to go shopping because I told you guys in the clip before this, I am looking for a new swimsuit. And um, the top got vetoed. My mom vetoed it. Um, she very quickly vetoed it when she saw me in it. My mom is not the type of person who cares. She's not exactly good at fashion advice. But I still go to her because I know that um, she knows what I prefer. And I know and I know where I know. People are like, you're 31. Why do you still listen to your parents and do what they tell you? I'm 31 and I still live at home with my mom, number one. And number two, that's just how I was raised. It didn't, when I turned 18, I don't mad, didn't magically just stop listening to my parents. I still listen to my parents. I still respect what they have to say to me. And here's the thing. I am able to make any major decisions by myself. All the decisions about my life, about where I work, what I eat, everything, where I live, every single decision is up to me. But I trust my parents enough that I listen to them and go to them for advice. Even on small things like swimwear. So my mom is the one who's like, no, you can't wear that. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to listen to my mom because my mom knows what is appropriate. And I'm going to trust her and I'm going to listen to her. So I went back to the store and I got, one, I got a pair of pants for work. And I figured out it's the brand of the pants. So in any other pants, I'm about a 22. But in this one brand, I'm in um, Tara Sky, I'm 20. But still, that's good because a couple of years ago, I was struggling just to put on size 26. So, um, but I got, please don't laugh at my swim top that I picked out today. But this is the one I grabbed. My mom was like, you need more support. So, I know, TMI. So, I got this one. It's an underwire, which I've never worn in my life. But I thought she wants me to have a better swimsuit. So, this is what I got. I know you may think it doesn't go with my black swim trunks, but it has enough black in it. It looks really, really cute. So. This was a better deal. This one was $16.88. I got a 3X um, just because it is time and true. So I will see how. So I'm going to try it when my mom gets home and see how it does. Now, on to even more exciting news. My Marvel sets came today. My MCU sets came today. I'm super, super, super excited because this means I have. Oh, I didn't even need. Okay, that's phase three. I didn't need my pocket knife because now I can actually begin collecting the other Marvel movies. Like, I've been holding off on getting Ant-Man and the Wasp, Black Panther, I think Ragnarok's in there, um, Civil War, and then, no, I don't know. All the latest Marvel movies because of the fact that I wanted to get the um, first ones, and I did. So, I'm really happy. So, yay! And I'm like... And people are like, maybe you should wait until they do the set for the second half for I'm like, I don't want to wait till next year for that to come out. I want to get my set now. So I'm happy. I'm excited. So this is, here is phase two. And this is phase three. This is the first part of phase three. So this has everyone, so this has all the movies through Thor Ragnarok. So this is phase three, part one, and then this is phase two. So this has Iron Man 3, Thor the Dark World, Captain America, Winter Soldier, Guardians of the Galaxy, Avengers, Age of Ultron, Ant-Man, and this one has Captain America, Civil War, Doctor Strange, Guardians of the Galaxy, Volume 2, Spider-Man Homecoming, and Thor Ragnarok. Really? Okay. <laughs> um, so this means I only have to get Ant-Man and the Wasp, Black Panther, Infinity War, Endgame, and Far From Home. So then, so that's real. Oh, and Captain Marvel. I'm like, I'm forgetting one somewhere. I really like the boxes look like the um, Infinity Stones, so I love that. Okay, my favorite meme right now is somebody posted this thing online of um. Spoiler alert of all the thing of all the times. What is it? Loki died. What was it? Loki died. Stole the Tesseract, came back. Loki died, stole the Tesseract, came back. Loki died, stole the Tesseract. <laughs> so I think Loki found a way to keep coming back. So, da 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 da. All right. So this is going to be a long vlog today because I am combining this with unboxing. Yay! My brother can't yell at me out anymore. I'm finally going to be watching Guardians. Um, so yay! Ah, that's so cool. Ah, I love the artwork on this one. I don't know what I do with these. I think I've ended up throwing... Oh, no, I keep those. I keep these. I throw this away, and I just keep the box. <laughs> um, but here it is. So this is the... um. 
There is the display case, and then this is the artwork. So I just remember getting so excited. What was it when I was looking through the um, discs for my first Marvel MCU set? And I'm like, oh my gosh, it's Loki. That's awesome. So I also have my own security level seven or above thing from Shield. So let's see what's in this thing. So okay, so this is gonna be the rest of the um posters to create one massive poster for um Thanos what was it the where is it Thanos poster so this is going to be those cards so we have the Iron Man 3 card Thor the Dark World Loki I got so excited he's like my favorite one of my favorites um Captain America the Winter Soldier oh I think that's Bucky Again, he's one of my favorite characters. I'm weird. Um, this is for Guardians of the Galaxy. And then Avengers Age of Ultron, which I am looking forward to seeing. I think it will be awesome. And then Ant-Man! And then on the back, it's going to be creating the rest of the Thanos poster. And then these are going to be the mini theatrical posters. So Iron Man 3. So some of these I have never actually seen before. So, oh my gosh, that looks amazing and awesome. So there's Iron Man 3. By the way, they released the character posters for Spider-Man Far From Home. They look awesome. And this is Thor the Dark World. Hey, I like this one. This one's cool too. That one's really neat. Okay, so there's Thor the Dark World. I don't even know if I'm opening these up. Oh, I'm not even opening these up in the right order. No, I am. Uh, Captain America, the Winter Soldier. So like I said, some of you guys recognize these. I have not seen some of these because like I said, I got so caught up in Star Wars I forgot about Marvel <laughs> for a while. Guardians! I think my brother might have this one. My brother loves, 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 loves Guardians of the Galaxy. Like, seriously loves it. I think it's one of his all-time favorite movies. He loves the Guardians movies. Um, Age of Ultron. The glare is so bad. That looks so cool. I will say one of my favorite scenes from the Marvel movies ever is actually in Age of Ultron. It's when they're trying to lift Thor's hammer. <laughs> and Ant-Man! Which I am actually looking forward to because I think it looks, I think Ant-Man will be funny. So that is my shield packet from that set. I don't know if I get another one for um the third one. I don't think there's a um pack like this in the third one. So that is um the phase two stuff. I guess you go like this. And you go like this. Ta-da! It's so pretty! So that is phase two. So on to phase three. I know I'm probably not using the knife the way I'm supposed to. Nobody judge me. I year mainly got this for was my version of self defense because my mom's like, "You're not getting a real knife." I'm like, "I'm not getting a real knife." All right, so blah. stupid childproof packaging. I know it's not actually childproof. I'm just saying that to make myself feel better. So part one. I'm so excited. This is Spider Man. Like, literally, out of all my favorite, next to, it's like, I absolutely love Spider-Man. I think he's, like, the coolest superhero ever, and then I love Loki and Bucky. <laughs> it just took me a minute to realize what I said. Okay. Ah, it's stuck! Oh. <laughs> it's not stuck. I'm just not doing it right. Okay. Ah! I love it. Look at the back. That is so cool. Let me look at the back of this one. Oh, this one is, um, that one is S.H.I.E.L.D. That's the S.H.I.E.L.D. logo. This one is the Avengers logo. What's on the back of my other one? I'm going to have to check that out now. Um, it's so pretty. I think this is the time stone. So I think... I don't remember which stone is which color, but I think this might be the soul stone and this is the time stone. Because my um, phase one is Tesseract. Oh! <gasps> It's Gamora and Nebula and Drax in the back. In the back, there's Loki. It's Loki. Loki's on the back, and then there's Thor. And I think they call her Valkyrie. I don't think that's her name. But look, it's Loki. <laughs> oh 
Okay, I'm way too excited about that. And then on the inside is Dr. Strange. <laughs> I'm sorry. This and this is like, yay! Oh, I do get like a little packet from S.H.I.E.L.D. So, I'm so happy. I thought I was going to have to buy this, but I don't know. I have my own copy. So, I got Infinity, so I've got Infinity, um, Civil War, Dr. Strange, Volume 2. I am Groot. Yay! Spider-Man Homecoming! I'm so excited! And then... Thor Ragnarok! And then there's one, always one last DVD. That's the bonus features, which... I don't know what's all the bonus features. I'm kind of confused yet. I did get a, um... Huh. This one doesn't have a class of... Uh, have a thing on it. The other two said I had to have a shield level... A level of seven or above. This one doesn't. Huh. Huh. Okay, we've got... Oh, so we got art cards, but they're not part of the, um, Thanos thing. So we have art cards for Captain America Civil War. Um, Doctor Strange. Oh, this one's pretty. I like that one. That one's really cool. So that's Doctor Strange. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. in the background that is so cool i love that um homecoming and thor ragnarok which i'm interested in because i did watch the history channel show vikings so i kind of when they did an episode where they talked where they explained to the um former monk i think they talked about ragnarok so i kind of knew so when i heard the title was ragnarok i'm like oh that's not good because i think that's the end of the world <laughs> so these are cool so these are going to be posters. Yep, so uh, here we go. So this is, I do remember this one. I really do remember the poster for Civil War because it says United We Stand, Divided We Fall. And I just remember that because I'm like, United Stand, Divided We Fall. That's, I think, the, pretty much the motto for, like, this. We, um, we Americans like to use for ourselves. So I do remember seeing this poster for Civil War and thinking, that looks good, and then never going to see Civil War. So there's the Civil War poster. So this one's going to be Doctor Strange. I also remember seeing this poster. So some of these I actually do remember seeing. So I do remember seeing the Doctor Strange poster and going, wow, confused. I also remember seeing the trailer for Doctor Strange and nearly busting and got laughing because I thought it would look like a hilarious movie. Um, so yeah, there have been Marvel. I have seen the trailers for some of these and wanted to go see them, and I just never ended up seeing them, so... Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. I think this is one of my favorites. Look at how psychedelic that is. That is so awesome. I just love the fact I have mini posters and I have nowhere to put the mini posters. Maybe when I get my own place. So this is going to be Spider-Man. This one, Again, I, I love with Spider-Man the inclusion of Iron Man in the Spider-Man Homecoming stuff. I love Vulture. But I really love the, the little... The little Iron Man stuff in there because he plays such a big role in that. And so this last one is going to be Ragnarok. It is. I'm not such a big fan of the Ragnarok poster, but I remember watching, like, the seeing the trailers and stuff and seeing footage. I'm like, that just looks hilarious. And apparently it is a really funny movie, so I cannot wait to watch this. This means... When I finish watching Star Wars Rebels again, and after I watch Rogue One, I will be able to start inhaling Marvel movies by the dozens. Well, not by the dozens, but still. I am ready to go on Marvel! Yay! And like I said, now I have, now I just need to start collecting the individual ones, which should be good, because I think all the newer ones I'm able to get to see movie reward parts good for, which will be even better when they finally release the theatrical trailer for, um, Rise of Skywalker. And if they do what they did, I will be able to get a really nice poster for The Rise of Skywalker, which means my Star Wars poster collection will be complete. <sighs> and I need a life. So I'm going to get going for the day, for the week. I will get this posted tomorrow. I'm really sorry about the length of it. I did not expect it to be this long. So you guys stay safe, stay sane. I'm sending you all lots of love, hugs, and prayers, and I will talk to you next week. Bye-bye.